as we looked at this in Acts 18.23 through the end of the chapter, we see that, again, Paul departed in verse 23. And it doesn't say that he's, what he did, how long he spent, any of those things. But what it does say that he spent time strengthening all of the disciples. We are all disciples, and as disciples, we are to make disciples, and we are to strengthen disciples. Discipleship is something that is part of our everyday life, and it should be a part of our everyday conversation. Talking about Scripture and what God has done and what He is doing on a regular basis with one another. And that's why I think community and fellowship and and coming together as we do is so important, not just to come in and worship and leave, but to spend time with one another, to to pray for one another, to, to get to know one another. For me personally, I have very little to talk about with an unbeliever. But as we get together, I got lots of things to talk about. Right? We have to talk about the glory of God and what's going on in the world and how God is using it and, and Scripture and, and what God is speaking to us and how he's, how he's ministering to us. And we like to ask tough questions here. And so here's the first one. How are you doing as a disciple of Christ? How are you doing as a disciple of Jesus? And then second of all, how are you doing to make disciples of Jesus? Hebrews 10 verse 25 tells us, Let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. As Pastor Steve mentioned, we have very little to talk about with an unbeliever. Whom are you meeting with on a daily basis? What does discipleship look like in your house today? Take a note in the Drive app here and pray through these questions. Then discuss your answers with your spouse or a spiritual mentor today.